Hi guys, welcome to the third part of the video series. I hope you are all doing well. In this part of the video series we will see how to do the texturing of the Axe 3D model in Substance Painter, so let's get started. So here we are in Substance Painter. Now let's bring our model over here which we created in Autodesk Maya. Go to File and choose New. Over here, set the template to PBR Metallic Roughness. For document resolution I will keep it 2K resolution. And now, select the FBX file of the model which we have exported out from Autodesk Maya. And then click on OK. And now go to Texture Set Settings, and from here, click on Bake Mesh Maps. Over here, I will turn off ID Map. And Output Size, I will keep it 2048. And then Rest I will leave it as default, then click on Bake. Now then, let's start with texturing this model. Go to Layer, and then delete the default layer that we have. Then from Shelf, select Smart Materials. I will start with this grip part which will be an old leather material. So from Smart Materials tab, I will choose Leatherette Damaged Material, and then drag and drop it to the layer. And now expand this folder, and you will find there are different layers of materials applied to it. From here you can adjust them as per your choice. I will tweak the layers, and see what looks best for the model. After that, right-click on the layer, and choose, Add Black Mask. And then from here, select Polygon Fill Tool. And now choose UV, and make sure the color is white. Then click on this grip part. And in this way the material will be applied only to this grip part. And now, you can tweak the layers, and see what looks best only for the grip texture. After that, choose steel painted scrapped green material, drag and drop it to the top of the grip texture layer. And now, right click on the layer, and choose, add black mask. Then select polygon fill tool, and select the blade part of the model. Now I will open the 2D view, and also select this part, since this one is the part of the blade which is inside here. And after that, tweak the settings of these layers as per your choice, and see what looks best for you. Now for this front part of the blade, I will apply separate material, so that it looks like sharp edged. So for that, I will choose steel material, then drag and drop on top of the layers. And now, right-click on the layer, and choose, Add Black Mask. Then start painting on the front part with Brush Tool. Do the same on the other side as well. Now for the parts that you don't want to apply this material, just select the material and scroll down here, and change the grayscale color to black and then paint on those unwanted parts. And after that, adjust the settings for the steel layer, as per your choice. And now, let's texture this wood part. From Smart Material tab, choose Wood Walnut, then drag and drop on top of the layers. Then, add black mask on this layer. Then select Polygon Fill Tool, and then select the wooden parts of the model. And after that, tweak the settings as per your preference.
Now, let's create this ring parts. From Smart Material tab, select Bronze Armor Material, then drag and drop on top of the layers. This material will be applied only to these ring parts of the model. So right-click on the bronze layer, and click on Add Black Mask. Then select Polygon Fill Tool, and now select the parts that you want to apply the material. And now, change the color to black, and select those parts which you don't want to apply this material. After that adjust the layers as per your choice, and see what looks best for the model. And now, create a fill layer on top of all the layers. And create a group folder on top of that. Now bring this layer inside the folder. I will rename this one as Ring, and this one as Pattern. Now, select the Ring folder, then add Black Mask on it. And now, select Polygon Fill Tool, and then select only these parts of the Ring model. After that, select this pattern's layer, then turn off all the channels except height and normal. And increase the height to 0.5. And now, in Shelf, go to Procedurals tab. Now first, right-click on this pattern's layer, and choose, Add Black Mask. Again right-click on it, and then choose, Add Fill. Now then, from Procedurals, select Stripes, then drag and drop it to the grayscale of the pattern's layer. And now, play with the settings, and see what looks best for the model. After adjusting the settings, click on this ring folder, and bring it inside the bronze armor folder. Now expand this folder, and then keep this ring layer on top of the base metal. And you will see that all the adjustments that were made on the bronze armor layer earlier, will also be applied on these ring patterns as well. Here I will apply the same bronze texture to the holder of the chain. So select the layer, go to Polygon Fill Tool, and add this object to the layer. And now, go to Smart Material tab, and from here choose Steel Painted Chip Dirty, then drag and drop it to the top of the layer. Now then, right-click on this layer, and choose, Add Black Mask. Then select Polygon Fill Tool. And then select all the chain parts of the model. After that, play with the settings and see what works best for you. So now the texture is almost ready for this model. Let's add some dirt details on it and it will be all good to go. From Smart Material, choose Dirt, then drag and drop it on the top of all the layers. Now then, it is looking too much for now, so I will adjust some of these settings to tone it down. And now for the sharp edge of the blade, I will not apply this dirt detail. So right click on the dirt layer, and choose, add white mask. And then with the brush tool, draw out the areas that you don't want to apply this dirt detail. From Shelf, you can go to Alphas tab, and choose any type of brush, and then paint them out as you want. So now the texturing part is done. Let's go to the render view and see how it is looking. Now over here you can change the display settings. From Environment Map, select the environment of your choice for better lighting effect. You can rotate the environment map for the better lights. 
From here you can give the background color as a solid color. And then you can save your image from here. In the next video we will export out the texture and bring them to Autodesk Maya, and then render it out in Arnold Renderer. Stay tuned for the next video. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.